The problem works like a riddle. How can art be used to address the issue of litter in a public park without itself becoming litter? Working from the idea that thoughtless public art is just that, visual litter, a group of sculpture students attempted to design art for trash cans that would create a more meaningful relationship between the person, place, and waste. The project was presented us to us kind of in two different ways. Um, one being that there seemed to be a lot of um, neglect going on. So people were putting their trash, you know, there was just trash basically floating around everywhere. So when we did our research, we documented this and, um, and saw that people just weren't caring for the park. Um, they also wanted trash receptacles, but um, they didn't really have any. So I think that's where we came in. So we were basically given the task to um, design trash cans, but I mean, it's like, so we dealt with the area around the trash can as well to kind of like build off of the trash can itself. I'd like to see what you come up you with. I don't, listen, this is where it comes into my job. I don't have the answers. I don't have best practices here. There are no rules. Like if I were teaching figure sculpture, we would be a completely different ballgame. All right, this is how it's done. It's been done this way for hundreds of years. <laughs> we're doing contemporary sculpture, then we need ideas. Therefore, every problem is unique. Every project is unique. Um, when we checked out, there was trash everywhere. There was it was lined up along the fences. There were just plastic spoons just thrown all around the grounds. It was a very sad sight. Well, also, are we going to make a the trash can or something besides this interactive? Because I don't know if people want to go up and play like on the food with some trash can. Yeah. Well, like touching it as far as Or he like wrote games on it, like go go get your friends and go with these whatever. Yeah. And, like bring them okay. back to the hopscotch trails yeah. to the yeah. trash can. I don't know, not something where you're just chilling around and yeah, trash. Trash. We were trying to um, find a way to incorporate sculpture into the trash cans and work like holistically with the space instead of just be like, here's a pretty trash can. With no real idea of what the neighborhood association wanted, whether there was a budget, or if there were any real guidelines at all, the class persisted in formalizing their idea in preparation for an entirely vague presentation. So, in other words, this is back to sort of philosophical approach towards art and and um, being asked to work as an artist. So we, we can be given constraints, and I think we've already been given enough constraints saying it has to be something related to garbage. That's enough for us. And from there, given another constraint, I, constraint by saying we have no money for you and we have no garbage can for you. Um, well, that's just it. And so, no, I mean, we need to do our jobs as artists first, which are come up with good ideas and show them, communicate them, get people excited about them. Okay, now do you want to pay for it? Or do, you need, do we need to go find other finance? I mean, because we'll, we can get money. I'm not worried about that. So but I, I, well, no, we can get money if once we have the idea. We have to sell the and, idea. And that's the first job. Our idea was to use the same material from the trash cans and to make sculptures that go on the side of it um, as kind of like an extension, kind of make people want to go up and around the trash cans and check it out. And 
just create a space that they would want to take care of. These are just, these are our proposals based on a concept, based on an idea. They aren't set in stone, but what they do is they integrate landscape with the material of the can. Called it like a horticulture, like mixing horticulture and sculpture, um, putting plants um, with the metal sculptures in, um, like using the sites we were going to put the trash cans at to inform what those uh, sculptures look like. These are some of the forms that came to mind in conversation with uh, students who knew, who were thinking about other things, they were thinking about types of plants. I mean, we came to this form through bamboo. We came to that form through monkey grass. And I think that is not uh, something you typically get to hear about artists' process, is that, you know, our ideas are coming from the site. The project was presented to the Neighborhood Association. Um, they seem to respond positively to it. Um, and then I think perhaps this is where the... the mm. It was a really friendly audience. They were all looking for ways to improve their neighborhood and their community. Um, so they were really receptive to the ideas that we put out there. Uh, but what we did to prepare for that, we did build a site model um, that we never actually used and we made several smaller models uh, to give them a solid idea of the forms that we were thinking about with the trash cans. It's stressful. <laughs> Not good at all. It, it kind of got a little hectic. Um, but I think we reeled it in enough to where we're, oh yeah, we're on the same page and we knew what we wanted to convey by the end of it. Um, Um, we have OU students here as our guests. They're going to do a presentation on some sculptures for the park. Isn't that right? Yes. yes. And then um, I have to leave a little early today. Um, but we'll go over some stuff. We have a visitor also at uh, 7. He'll be going over, he has 10 minutes only to go over a spud that they're doing on 16th Street. They plan on doing. So um, we'll go ahead and let you guys take over. The camera cut out and no more footage was taken of the McKinley Park trash can sculpture project. What we know is that the Neighborhood Association liked the idea, but at this point, the fate of the project was in the hands of city bureaucracy, and the future of it was uncertain. As uncertain things often do, the project began to come apart at the seams. Something with no future is bound to move from present to past, and so the idea and the materials became exactly that which they were attempting to rectify, garbage. The weed-infested garden of deterioration is the natural habitat of madness. An unrealized idea becomes a model universe unstuck from time. Art can be considered the resistance to returning to base components, and in its absence, entropy grows wild.
The world we live in is always a matter of scale, and the one you can see becomes your home.